Om Ajnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shrimati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Precharine Nirvisesha Sanyavadi Paschachate Satarine Vanchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Vaevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadara Shri Vasati Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. We're telling the story of Gopkumar and how this cowherd boy from Govardhan by the power of a mantra could travel beyond the material universe into the spiritual world. And so he was in Vaikuntha and he has a discussion with Narada Muni. He's taking teaching from Narada Muni because Narada Muni is an authority on deity worship. So Gop Kumar wanted to understand why there's some criticism of deity worship in this, in some scriptures. So Narada Muni explains that the criticism is not of the process of the deity worship, but it's of the manner in which some people worship the deities. Some people worship the deities with very materialistic purposes. But Narada Muni explains that if these people continue to do their deity worship, even though they're very materialistic, that gradually they will purify their heart. Because uh, the, the devotees, the pure devotees of Krishna will see the good quality that this person is maintaining his deity worship, he's doing it very regularly. So the devotees will guide them and instruct them how, what should be the proper mood in worshipping the deity.
and help these people who are worshipping the deity for mate with material purposes to become good devotees. So devotees, they may have material desires in the beginning. So generally they first of all have to satisfy their material desires. And then later on they become good devotees. But because, because in the beginning they have material desires, so they get some of these people are criticized by the pure devotees. Because pure devotees, they consider it's more important to see the Lord and to taste the bliss in the Lord's pastimes than to get anything material. So just coming into Vaikuntha, coming into Vaikuntha into the spiritual world is the beginning. One has to go on from there and enter into the Lord's pastimes. So devotees, the pure devotees are very impatient. They want to get that, the highest fruit. They want to enjoy the highest thing in the association of the Lord. And because these devotees have such a strong desire to have the association of Krishna and to be in pastimes with Krishna, Krishna has a very strong attachment to them. So, devotees who have this, these desires, these very high desires, they cannot understand why other people don't have these desires. Some people, some people, they just simply want liberation. They don't think about the real about developing love of God, they just simply want to get out of the material world. So it's, it's easy to get out of the material world, but it's not easy to develop Krishna Prem. Because when you get Krishna Prem, then Krishna becomes controlled by that pure devotee. Krishna be, be, gives up his independence. He becomes controlled by his pure devotee. Krishna 
So it's much more difficult to get Krishna praying than just to get liberation. So Narada Muni said, when Krishna comes under the control of his devotees, there's no fault and it's not a problem. Krishna is happy to be under the control of his devotee. The devotees also take pleasure to see the Lord under the control of his devotees. Devotees see the wonderful love which the Lord has for his devotees and how he has so much affection for them that he becomes under their that he becomes their servant. Krishna doesn't care about his own satisfaction. He's not thinking about himself. He thinks about his devotees. It is the greatness of the Lord that he can become the servant of his devotees. Yes. Krishna's personality is so unique that anybody else in that situation they would feel they would feel dissatisfied, but Krishna is totally satisfied. And sometimes the devotee who've got this Krishna Prem, sometimes their Krishna Prem develops into a very special stage of Krishna of Prem, which is called Mahabhava, which is the highest stage of ecstasy. So when one gets this Mahabhav, if a devotee can achieve this Mahabhav, then he feels the pain of separation from Krishna very intensely. It, it appears to be suffering, but it's the greatest ecstasy. If you see the devotee who's got this Mahabhava, it appears like they're in, in distress and they're having so much pain, but it's the greatest ecstasy. So, because the devotees have so much love for Krishna, they feel this pain of separation, even sometimes for a moment. 
深爱 Krishna， 有时候即便是片刻与 Krishna 的分离，他们也感到巨大的痛苦。So ordinary people, when they see this, the devotee, this, these advanced devotees, when they see them suffering,、uh, they, when they see them in their ecstasy, it, they think that they are suffering. 奉献者，呃，处在狂喜当当中，他们觉得奉献者在受苦。So、他们就会对奉献者冷嘲热讽。哎，你们看这些人，他们他们多多受苦啊 ！So Krishna doesn't give these or these foolish people. He doesn't give them. Any understanding about devotional service? They don't want devotional service. Krishna 不会给予这些愚人赐予他们理解奉爱服务的呃这种自信，而且这些愚人他们也不想要奉爱服务。So this kind of love of God, this is very rare, very very special that people can come to that level. 这一类对神的爱是非常非常罕见的，他们能够达到这种层面是非常特别的。It's not difficult to go to heaven. It's not difficult to get free of material existence. 要去天堂并不难，要摆脱物质存在也不难。嗯、we can say just like. Uh, going to heaven, that's just like pieces of glass. Glass is not valuable. Getting free from material existence, that's like finding gold. You know, sometimes people find gold. So getting free from material existence is like finding some gold. But getting Krishna Prem is like finding a Chintamani stone. Yeah. But that's very, very rare. So Krishna very rarely gives that devotion, that kind of Krishna prem. He only gives it very rarely, and he will give it to a, a special person who really wants it. Yeah, if you don't have the desire to get it, you never get it. If a person has no desire to get Krishna Prem, he will not get it. And the person who wants it, they have to be indifferent. They don't care about what other people think. About them. Just like sometimes when we become devotees, we have we can't be worried about what people think about us. People think, oh, you must be crazy. You go, go, you, you do join this. You do these things which they do. You, you're so different from everybody else. Why you do like that? Why you join them? 
To be a devotee, you, ha you can't be worried about what people say, what people think. You have to be convinced that this is the right thing to do. So in the same way, if you want to develop Krishna Prem, love of God, you, have to, you can't be worried about what people think about you. You can't think, you can't want, you should not want people to give you respect. So, Narada Muni said, it's not very easy for me to describe everything about this stage of Krishna Prem. It's a very special stage. And for the ignorant people, then it wouldn't be good to explain to them. Because the ignorant people, they cannot understand anything, so they're not they they're not qualified to hear. They they're not qualified to hear about the highest thing. Just like the in chanting the holy name, the ninth offense is to instruct the glories of the holy name to faithless persons. Because they don't have any faith, so they cannot understand the nature of the holy name. So, when a devotee gets Krishna Prem, then sometimes he may sing and dance like a madman. Mm. Just sometimes, just due to his love of God, sometimes he will cry, and sometimes he will shout out and call the name of the Lord. So people who don't know about devotional service, they will think person suffering. They will think he's having, you know, he's having some problem. So they will think that this bhakti yoga is no good. Better to be a, a yogi and just do meditation. Better or better just to be a karmi and satisfy material desires. So instead of hearing from people who are authorities on bhakti yoga, they will go and hear from ordinary materialistic people. So the Narada Muni tells Gop Kumar, he said, anyway, he said, you're from Govardhan, you're from Vrindavan, Govardhan, that place. So in that place, people know about Krishna Prem and they know about Mahabhava. So it's not difficult for you to understand.
拿的慕尼告诉波帕布库玛，你来自格尔丹，你来自文达文，那里的人们都知道 Krishna Prem， 都了解马哈帕布。嗯，所以，嗯，够上。很容易，很容易理解。嗯。And in Tao's book, Kumar, very soon you will be able to experience these things yourself. Haribo, very soon, Haribo. very soon, Narada Muni tells Gop Kumar that very soon you will be able to experience these things, Krishna Preman, Mahabhab. <laughs> So when Narada Muni spoke like this, Gop Kumar became very eager. Oh, that very he wanted to see Lord Gopal. His, he became very, very enthusiastic that oh soon I'm going to get something very wonderful. 听到这一番话，Gopal Kumar， 他感到非常的兴奋，感到非常的渴望。哦，很快我就能见到，我就能见到 Gopal， 他被他的热情被激发起来了。很快我就能见到 Gopal 了。嗯，so Narada Muni is a great devotee, great preacher, and he's always giving the the teachings of the Vaishnava philosophy. So Narada Muni tell, Narada Muni tells Gop Kumar that I'm going to tell you something very confidential, which is not usually talked about here in Vaikuntha. But Narada Muni understands the nature of Gop Kumar, and he has to tell him about something very important, very special. Narada Muni understands Gop Kumar's 所以他必须告诉他一些独特的、重要的事情。So he tells Gopkumar, he said, "There's a place here in Vaikuntha, which is far from here, and it, it is Ayodhya, and it is the city of Lord Ragupati, who is the name of Lord Ramachandra." 在百昆特这里，很遥远的地方，有一个地方叫阿尤提亚，那里是拉古帕提，拉古帕提是指拉姆的另外一个名字，是拉古帕提的城市。And after Ayodhya, beyond that, then is the city of Dwarka, and that's the city of the master of the Yadus. 上面呢是多尔卡，多尔卡是亚杜主，亚杜主人的城市。And Dwarka, Dwarka is like an extension, like a subdivision of Mathura. Dwarka就好像是 Mathura 的嗯一个郊区，一个分支。so Narada Muni tells Gop Kumar that you should go to Dwarka and there you can worship the Lord, the Lord who you love, Lord Gopal, Lord Madan Gopal. So Gop Kumar has already been to Mathura. He knows about Mathura on earth. So Narada Muni tells him Dwarka is similar to Mathura. Gop Kumar 
多巴库马曾经去过地球上的马图热。他的母女告诉他，杜尔卡跟马图热很相似。And Dwarka is like the sub-district, the sub, it's a section, a section and of Mathura, and, and the people of Dwarka, they're all from Mathura. Mostly, they're from Mathura. Dwarka 就相当于 Mathura 的一部分，一个区域，而 Dwar 区 Dwarka 的居民大部分都是来自于 Mathura。So if Gop Kumar will go to Dwarka, he's actually it's not different from Mathura. And this is these places. Uh, they're the highest regions in Vaikuntha, above Vaikuntha. They're slight. They're above Vaikuntha. 在百昆塔上面，超越了百昆塔。But Narada Muni tells Gop Kumar, he said first, he said, I want you to go to Ayodhya, and and there you will learn about the the mood in which the devotees serve Lord Ramachandra. The devotees who worship Lord Rama, they worship Lord Rama almost like the devotees who worship Krishna in Dwarka. Yeah, how the devotees worship Krishna in Dwarka. Is very similar to how these devotees worship Lord Rama. In, ah, worship Krishna. These devotees, they are very similar. 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 It's got to be Dwarka, Krishna in Dwarka, the worship of Krishna in Dwarka. It's the worship of Krishna in Dwarka is similar to that of Krishna in Dwarka. Yeah, yes, Krishna in Dwarka. Yeah, 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 Krishna in
So he's eager to go and see Lord Rama. So devotees of Krishna, when when they see Lord Rama, they will see also many of the features of Lord Krishna in Lord Rama. Yes, there's many features the same. Lord Ramachandra is a special incarnation of Krishna. So Narada wants Gopu Kumar to learn with that special mood of worship to Lord Rama. And he tells him you have to you have to chant special prayers to the Lord. You have to chant about how Lord Ra O husband of Sita, brother, elder brother of Lakshman, O Lord, Master of Hanuman, O Lord Raghunath, like that. And you have to remember the qualities, the beauty, the power of Lord Ramachandra. And you should follow the same path as you would as you were worshipping your own deity. Your own deity is Krishna, you should follow the same path. Because in Lord Rama, you will see also your deity because Lord Rama's expansion from your from the original Lord Krishna. So there's many things in Lord Rama which are also there. Everything in Lord Rama it comes from Lord Krishna. So it's all there in Krishna's form. So by worshipping Rama it will remind you of Krishna. And so Gop Kumar, he's a devotee of Madan Gopal. So he may think, I don't want to worship Lord Rama. But Narada Muni is telling him that if you worship Lord Rama, it will help you to remember more Madan Gopal, help you to remember Krishna. You will see how Lord Rama has come. Yeah, uh, Narada Muni is telling him that if you worship Lord Rama, it will help you to remember more Madan Gopal. So, go first to Ayodhya. And meet Lord Ramachandra, worship Lord Ramachandra, and then you can go to Dwarka. Hmm. 
Lord Ramachandra will be happy to send you to Dwarka. You go there first and meet Lord Ramachandra and then if you still want to go to Dwarka, he will send you. And when you're going, when you go on, the, on your way to see Lord Rama to Ayodhya, I want you to do Sankirtan, chant the holy names of the Lord, just like I told you. And, and by chanting the holy name of the Lord and going to Ayodhya, then you can go on to see Lord Krishna, the Lord of the Yadus in Dwarka. So Ayodhya and Dwarka and other places, the other, they're all parts of Vaikuntha. They're, they're not different. They're, they're in Vaikuntha. They're just like Purushottam Shetra, Lord Jagannath's place, Purushottam Shetra, and Ayodhya, place of Lord Rama, and Dwarka, place of Lord Krishna. They're all there in Vaikuntha. Purushottam Shetra, Lord Jagannath's play. It's, that's also in my Kunta. Yes. Okay. So, Ayodhya, to Ramachandra the Divan, Ayodhya, Krishna the Divan, Dwarka, and to Jagannath the Divan, Purushottam Shetra, those who are in Kunta. So, you, Narada Muni tells Gopi Kumar, you don't need to get permission from Lord Narayan to go there. You can just go. Hare Krishna. Did you didn't hear me, huh? Yes. So I said, Narada Muni tells Gop Kumar, you don't need to get permission to go there. Lord Narayan doesn't have to give you permission because it's all in Vaikuntha. You're not leaving Vaikuntha. So you don't need to get special permission from Lord Narayan. It was Lord Narayan who told me to come here to see you. So he knows about what you're thinking in your heart. Hmm. So you should think, you should understand that whatever I say, it's actually his order. I'm speaking on his behalf to you. And then Narada Muni said, anyway, Lord Narayan has already gone somewhere else. He left. He's gone to meet another devotee, one of his great devotees. So he's not here. So even if you wanted to see him before you go, you cannot. Narada Muni tells Gopakumar, 
。主哪儿啊呢？已经离开了这里，他前去见另外一位伟大的奉献者了。即使你想见他，也见不到。You may want to wait for him. You may say, "I'll wait till he comes back," but you won't be able to. Be, you, he may be a long time, may not come back for a while because he's went to meet one of his very nice devotees. So you should just go now. You don't need to wait. And, and Gop Kumar may say, "Well, you know, I, I think he'll come back. I think, you know, I'm I'm sure he's going to come back. I I think I I I can be patient." But Narada Muni says, "No, I don't think so. You don't have the patience." Gop Kumar, Gop Kumar, he may say, "Oh, I I I can be patient, but Narada Muni tells him." 你没有这个这份耐心。But Gop Kumar shouldn't mind. He should understand. Lord Narayan wants him to go. Gop Kumar 不应当在意，他应当理解，主哪让的是希望他去的。So Gop Kumar is very happy to hear this. So he bows down to Narada Muni. He takes his blessings, and he sets off to go to Ayodhya. 听完 Narada Muni 这番话呢，他非常的高兴，就顶拜了 Narada Muni， 并且获得了圣人的祝福，然后就启程出发，前往阿优迪了。And he remembers all the instructions of Narada Muni. He's chanting the holy name of Lord Ram. 他就嗯在路上呢，一路铭记着 Narada Muni 的教导，就在路上一直唱诵着 Rama 的圣名。So he travelled a long way, and then he met some monkeys. He began to meet some forest monkeys, and they were jumping around, and they were shouting, and they were chanting, "Rama, Rama!" This is a very long road. In the road, there is a forest. In the forest, there are monkeys jumping and shouting, and they are shouting, "Rama, Rama!" So Gop Kumar is walking, but then the monkeys came and they tried to grab his flute because Gop Kumar is a cowherd boy. He always has his flute with him. He had a flute in his hand. The monkeys tried to grab it from him. So they were attracted to the flute. They wanted to get it. These monkeys were very curious, very interested, and wanted to grab it. So after he saw the monkeys, he walked further on. Then he began to meet some humans, some some human beings who were all associates of Lord Ramachandra, and they were very, very good looking. 人类 He thought these people are even better looking than the people of Vaikuntha. The people of Vaikuntha were very good looking, but these people are even more good looking. 在白昆上，白昆特的居民呢，长相就非常的英俊了。但是这些这些人，甚至超过他们的美丽英俊，甚至超过了白昆特的居民。So these men. They were very, they were very cultured and very、uh, well behaved. And when Gop Kumar would bow down to them, they would get very upset, and they said, "No, no, don't bow to us." These people, they are very cultured, very well behaved, and very well behaved. And when Gop Kumar would bow down to them, they would get very upset, and they said, "No, no, don't bow to us." These people, they are very cultured, very well behaved. 但他们马上就感到很不安，就就拒绝说不不不，不要顶拜。嗯、mm. ，So they brought Gop Kumar 
to the outside of their city and they showed him the entrance to the, the gate into the city. So Gop Kumar was, was so ecstatic, he was feeling so much ecstasy, he could hardly walk. They had to help him to come into the city. So Lord Ramachandra, he knew about Gop Kumar coming. So he sent these people out to help him and to bring him into the city. So he could not deal with these people the same way as he did with the people of Vaikuntha. In Vaikuntha, he was giving respect to all the people, but these people in Lord Ramachandra's city, they wouldn't allow him to show any respect to them. They were very, very modest and uh, they were very con concerned and caring for everyone. So they showed the best behavior, the best character for civilized, cultured people. So they brought him into the city and then Gop Kumar, he saw, first of all, he saw Bharat with Shatrugna, two of the brothers of Lord Ramachandra, Bharat and Shatrugna, and they were sitting on nice seats and they had the mon monkeys were surrounding them, the important monkeys like Sugriva and Jambavan. Yeah. And there were also many handsome men, very good looking men all standing there surrounding Bharat and Shukra. So, Lord uh, Gop Kumar, he thought Bharat was actually Lord Ramachandra. When he met Bharat, first of all, he thought this is Lord Ramachandra. And he began to offer prayers as if he was Lord Ramachandra. But when Bharat when he did this, Bharat immediately covered his ears and told him to stop and says, No, no, I'm only a servant. I'm not Lord Ramachandra. I'm only the servant. But Bharat was sitting on a throne. He was sitting in a palace. And so Gop Kumar naturally thought he must be Lord Ramachandra, but he was only the brother of Lord Ramachandra. And, 
And but Bharat was very he was all, he was very good looking. He was also like just like Lord Ram. And he also dressed like Lord Ram. So it was natural that Gopkumar thought he was Lord Rama. And Shatrugna, he looked like Lakshman. <laughs> Usually Lakshman is with Lord Rama and Shatrugna he's with Bharat. They're four brothers. So Gop Kumar is a little afraid because he knows he doesn't know quite who's who or what to do. So he just stood still and joined his hands together in front of Lord Bharat. So then Hanuman, he gets Gopkumar to leave that place and he takes him into the, into the center of the city and there he meets the Supreme Lord. He was, and Lord Rama is sitting on a royal throne and it, the palace is very opulent, very beautiful, and it, it, there's all, many great persons surrounding him. So Lord Rama looks almost like Lord Narayan. It's like he looks like Lord Narayan. He, you know, very beautiful, very youthful, he's not old, he's young and, and his body is very powerful, very well, very built, well, very strong. But there were some special features about Lord Ramachandra which distinguished him from other forms. For, first of all, he's carrying a bow in one hand. He has his bow. And he's, he's, he, he, when he looks at people, he looks with, he looks, he looks very, he's very modest and humble. So he's like a perfect king. He, he only has two arms, but he's the best of very expert bowmen. And he's very good in protecting all the citizens of the kingdom. And he follows all the rules and uh, regulations for how to behave and how to conduct yourself. So when Gopkumar came in front of him, it was so overwhelming that he, 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 he just fell down and actually he, he collapsed. He, but it was like he was offering obeisances. When Gopal Kumar came to Ramachandra, he 
实际上是，嗯，是瘫倒在地，但是好表面上好像是在趴在顶拜。But then they helped him to stand up. They brought him up to, his, to stand up on his feet, and he was able to actually see the Lord Ramachandra. So Hanuman had been with him. Hanuman was with Gokumar, but then Hanuman jumped over to be with Lord Ramachandra, to be at the side of Lord Ramachandra. And Lord Ramachandra had his wife, Sita, on one side, and on the other side, his younger brother. Lakshman. So this is how we usually see the Lord of Ayodhya. Sometimes Hanuman would stand in front and he would fan, fan Lord Ramachandra and he would sing also about Lord Ramachandra, praising him. And sometimes Hanuman would sit in front, cross like he would sit in with his hands folded, his palms joined together, and he would offer prayers, he would compose prayers to glorify Lord Ramachandra. Okay, we'll stop here. So we'll hear about Ayodhya in next time, next class. Are there any questions? Her family members experience what? Experience, I can love them. 
their sincerity with devotional consciousness? Well, patience, it will take time. You cannot expect immediately they're going to accept your new way of life. But you have to show them that you've become a better person by practicing Krishna consciousness. You have to show, you have to convince them that because now you're a devotee of Krishna, you, 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 care, you care more about them than before. You're not going to neglect them. But you're going to give them the greatest benefit. But of course, they don't have faith. They don't have any faith in Krishna consciousness at this point. So you'll find it very difficult to try to preach to them. But if you can show them that you're happier, you're more peaceful with Krishna consciousness, then that will impress them. So, as I said, it's going to take time. You have to just be consistent, you have to be steady, and you have to show a very nice example. Okay, I, I, I wish you good luck in your efforts. And you can ask Kadamba because you're working, you're, you're friendly with Kadamba Madhiji. So Kadamba Madhiji's mother, she is also very favorable. She's a devotee. So I asked Kadamba, how, how did she do it? Because, you know, Kadamba's, her mother is a devotee, her sister is a devotee. How did Kadamba manage to influence her sister and her mother that they also became devotees? Okay, 
are situated in uh, situates in my printer, isn't that Dwarka situated in Goloka? No. Dwarka is between Vaikuntha and Goloka. Goloka is Vrindavan. Dwarka is different. The mood of Dwarka is opulence, but the mood of Vrindavan is sweetness. In Goloka, there is very simple living. It's a village, countryside, many cows. But Dwarka is opulence. So the mood is very different. We say Krishna is perfect in Dwarka, Krishna is more perfect in Mathura, and Krishna is most, most perfect in Vrindavan. Yeah, any other question? No. It's spoken by per, uh, oops. Uttara. Uttara, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Pariksha's wife. Uh, Pariksha's mother, Uttara, she wanted to hear, so Pariksha spoke to Uttara. Sukadeva Goswami had finished speaking Srimad Bhagavatam. And there was some time left, waiting for the snake to come, to bite Maharaj Pariksha. So at that time he spoke. Hmm. 
还有，然后由后，然后由后者讲给他的母亲，然后由小娜娜哥说你写成的书，现在翻译成英文是这个事情吗？嗯 ，so as far as Papa Kumar's Brihad Baba Khan is concerned, that is it that first the Shukadev Goswami spoke it to Parikshit Maharaj. And then Parikshit Maharaj spoke, spoke it to his mother Uttara. And then Sanatan Goswami wrote it into a book. And then now it is translated into English. Is this the sequence? I never heard that Sukadeva Goswami spoke it to Parikshit. 那我还我要再看一下，因为这一部分呢是在这书的一开始。Go ahead. Well, how long did Parikshit Maharaj rule the world? He ruled the world from the time his father, well, his father was killed in the Kurukshetra. When the Pandavas retired, after Krishna left the world, the Pandavas retired and they left, they went to the Himalayas and they put Parikshit on the throne, they made him the king. And so he ruled the world up until he got cursed. So, Kali Yuga began, it was supposed to begin at the time of the battle of Kurukshetra, but because Krishna was still present on the planet, it couldn't begin. Then after Krishna left the planet, then Maharaj Parikshit was ruling, and Maharaj Parikshit, he wouldn't let Kali in. But after Parikshit got cursed, then Kali came in. So it's been about 5,000 years. Mathura and Dwarka is Vaikuntha.
No. It refers to Vaikuntha. Well, to go to Goloka, you have to have, you have to do devotional service in the mood of Raga Nuga, spontaneous devotion. Yeah, must be that mode of spontaneous devotion. If you just if you're still following the rules and regulations, just doing everything on the basis of rules and regulations, then it doesn't you don't get into Goloka. will get punished if I don't do this or oh, I'll get reaction Krishna will punish me I'll get I'll suffer so we do everything according to rule and regulation that is not spontaneous But the mood of Goloka is you do everything out of love because you love Krishna so much you want to do it. We're chanting Hare Krishna because we want to get out of the material world. We think I'm suffering so much here, I want to get out. But in the spiritual world, to, to go to Goloka, we, we just simply want to love Krishna, we'll do anything for Krishna. And we don't even think, don't even think Krishna's God. We just think of him as the cowherd boy, the son of Nanda Maharaj. Worship the deities, yes. You have deities, we worship them, I mean, 24 hours, yeah. But the deity also goes to, you have to put the deity to take rest. You have to put the, de you take care of the deity all day. Yeah, 
So med mantra meditation. Yeah, mantra meditation also, twenty-four hours. Lord Chaitanya said, Kirtaniya Sadahari, always chant the holy name. So if you can chant twenty-four hours a day, very good. Service to Krishna, pure devotional service should be ahaitaki, apratiyata, should be uninterrupted and unmotivated. So uninterrupted means 24 hours a day. Just as we eat for Krishna, we also sleep for Krishna, we take rest so that we can do better service the next day. Well, we, we offer our respects. It's not that we have to worship Lord Ramachandra, we worship Lord Chaitanya. And by worshipping Lord Chaitanya, then you're worshipping all the Lord's incarnations. Lord Ramachandra, we said he is one of the incarnations of the Lord. The original source of all incarnations is Lord Krishna, and Lord Krishna is not different from Lord Chaitanya. So we don't need to accept some. We do have some de temples with Lord Ramachandra deities. You go to our temple, some Iskon temples. They've established Sita Ram Lakshman Hanuman. But you don't need to worship Lord Rama. It's not required. We follow, we worship, we have a Ram Nomi, the day on which Lord Rama appeared in the world. We celebrate that. It's a fasting day and we have a festival. We celebrate also a festival called Diwali coming very soon during this month of Kartik, when we put lights around the temple. And it, it said that when Lord Ramachandra came back from exile after spending 14 years in the forest, then he came back to Ayodhya uh, and all the people came out and they all offered lights to welcome Lord Ramachandra back to Ayodhya. So this is the festival of Diwali.
Well, we should understand chanting of the holy name is very important, but it's not that we just only chant the holy name of Krishna. We cannot imitate Haridas Thakur. He could chant, but he chanted all day. So he chanted three lakh you know, every day, three lakh names means 192 rounds. You know, we have difficulty, many devotees have difficulty just to chant six, 16 rounds. So, chanting Hare Krishna is a very important part of our daily program, but we need to do other things also, like you have to eat, so you have to cook for Krishna, and you have to offer the food to Krishna. Then you have to read the books about Krishna because you may chant the holy name of Krishna, but you don't know who Krishna is. You don't know anything about Krishna. So you have to read the books about Krishna. You have to hear about him and about his qualities and activities. So, we have a balanced program, some time for chanting and other times for service and reading. Some people have jobs, they work, they maintain their families, not just simply sit and chant all day. You have to have a program which, which you can maintain practically. You may sit and chant some days, all day you just sit and chant, but you can't do it every day for very long. But at the end of life, you may have to sit and chant. So that's the idea. When you're preparing to go back to Godhead, you don't have anything else to do but to sit and chant the Holy Name. Okay, Yet, they are more hands 
he's explaining the humility of the people there, how they all very they're very humble. They all consider themselves to be servants. They don't think they're important. They don't have any self as you know. They think of themselves as very uh, low and insignificant servants of the Lord. Lord Ramachandra is known as the incarnation of perfect etiquette, perfect behavior. So we see how even Lord Ramachandra is humble and modest. He is setting the example to all of the other citizens. That although he is the king, still he is humble, he is not proud. So he is setting an example to the citizens. So humility is a very important quality in civilized society and in, in spiritual activities also. If you read the Bhagavad Gita, 13th chapter, then there are many qualities, 20 qualities listed of one knowledge. And the first one is, the first two, Amanitvam Adamvitvam, meaning humility and pridelessness. So the beginning of education is humility. The sign of one in knowledge is that one is not proud, one is humble. So this was especially apparent in Ayodhya because the, the people of Ayodhya follow the example of Lord Ramachandra to show very, very good qualities. Feet. And he asked, according 
into Vedic, the Vedic traditional Brahman, Brahmana. As far as Brahmana realization is concerned, the level of Brahman, Brahmana realization is concerned. Are there the same, um, is it the same? So the traditional Brahman realization and our Eastern Brahman realization, is it on the same level? Well, there are different kinds of Brahmanas. You have to understand, even 5,000 years ago, not all Brahmanas were devotees. Some Brahmanas are impersonalists and some Brahmanas are Karmakandis. Karmakandi, Gongli Singh, Gongli Singh Hodong. They, they just do material rituals. So some Brahmanas have realization of the Lord and some do not. So in ISKCON, we see also there's many different kinds of Brahmins. But the idea is somebody, someone who is a Brahmana, he should know, he should cultivate Brahminical qualities and he should be on the path to realizing Brahman. And from Bhagavad Gita we learn that Krishna is the basis of the Brahman. So some people they simply come to the level of Brahman, they're simply satisfied to be on the level of Brahman, knowing themselves not to be the body, and others go on to cultivate their relationship with Krishna. So some Brahmanas have good knowledge, they've studied the scriptures nicely, but they may not have a relationship with Krishna. But devotees generally in our ISKCON society, we're encouraged to cultivate our relationship with Krishna. We don't just want to realize Brahman, but we want to understand the Krishna in his full feature as Bhagavan. Okay. Uh, there are still three more questions. Okay, go ahead. Okay. 
个问题来自于淡然一笑。曾听古鲁讲课说，格罗卡有三部分组成，本达文、马图热、杜尔卡。今天讲课听，杜尔卡在格罗卡和白坤的之间没矛盾是吧？<笑>没矛盾。No, no contradiction. 没矛盾，没没有矛盾。What they they think Dwarka is like a loka? some distinctions. You have to understand there are distinctions. Anyways, in the spiritual world, Sanatana Goswami is describing very carefully. It's a very special region of Vaikuntha. Okay. Go ahead. Yes, we have to want to change. That's the beginning. You have to want, you have to regret. We have to regret our fallen condition and we have to want to change. So you practice carefully hearing and chanting and worshipping Krishna. Be humble, offer respects to your husband. Don't expect any respect for yourself. Take care of your child and keep your house very neat and clean. Try to regularly prepare good meals for the satisfaction of your husband. So in this way, gradually, you can become pure. Every day you chant the holy name, associate with Krishna, and hear the classes. We'll take some time, but 
you are on the path. It just, it just takes more time. You are changing every day, a little bit, a little bit. Well, you can do all of them, right? We don't take any chance, don't just depend on only one thing. There's so many ways of being recommended. So you do all of them. You read the Bhagavad Gita, you offer a lamp, hold on to Prabhupada's dhoti, and you develop your spontaneous devotion. Right? Don't take any chance. We don't know which one is going to take you back, so do everything. Do all of them. Take part in all these activities. Keep yourself fully absorbed in Krishna Consciousness. Then you have a better chance to go back. But if you don't want to go back, you don't need to go back. You can stay here if you like. But Prabhupada said, it's okay, you can go back. You don't need to stay. You should go back. Thank you. 
So, thank you very much, everyone. Very glad to have your association. And we hope you're all singing Damodar every day and offering your lamp. Have a nice I hope we will have a very nice uh, Kartik Vrat. Try to do nice service and get the mercy of Radharani. Okay. Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Jai. Fechan Gatshya Guru Mani, Ki Woman, Chintai De Fani, Gatshya Sati Futur, Gatshya Soyo De Function, Angel Ling Ting. Srila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Gaur Bhakti Vrinda, Ki Jai. Gaur Premanandi.